Hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about the Philips Norelco Multigroom 3000 versus the 7000 series. So here we have two products in comparison and we are in the Philips website. So they have the specifications out for you and we'll compare it down for you. So here we have the 3000 in the left and 7000 in the right. So here they're not really specified on how both of these compare but let's just skip those that don't really have any comparison methods. So here, let's just start with the number of tools. You'll have six tools in the 3000 compared to the 7000 with 13 tools. Style of tools, you'll have your trimmer, nose and ear trimmer, two beard combs, and a stubble comb, which is two, which will, you will get with the six tools. For the 13 tools in the 7000 series, you'll get your metal trimmer, you'll get your detailed metal trimmer, nose and ear trimmer, body shaver, body skin protector, the three to seven millimeter beard adjustment comb, two stubble combs, three hair combs, and two body combs. So it's a no-brainer to get the 7000 series over the 3000 series if you're not trying to save some money. So both of these have warranty, but the Cervix warranty for the 7000 series only comes in two years, while three years is for the 3000 series. So in the cutting system, you'll have dual cut technology that can cut in two directions in your 7000 series, while the 3000 doesn't. So this has self-sharpening blades in both. For accessories, you'll have cleaning brushes for both, of course. But the 3000 has a storage pouch, unlike your 7000. So for power, they are both powered by a battery. But the other one is nickel. And the first one, or the 7000 series, is the lithium ion. And a quick full charge with the 7000 series. And here... You have 16 hours on a full charge with your own actual 3000. Runtime will vary for 60 minutes up to 120 minutes in this two series. So the difference between both of these is they are both reinsable attachments. And right here, their display is only available in the 7000 series and the 3000 doesn't have one. The maintenance free, it's no oil needed for both of these. So this cannot be used as wet and dry dry only I think in the 3000 and wet in the 7000. So in the design of course you're going to have a no slip rubber grip for your 7000. So it's a no brainer to get the 7000 series since you're getting a lot more for your money compared to the 3000. So there you go guys if this video was helpful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.